Hello everybody and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. I'm Craig Boy. Thank you for joining me today. You join me in September, one minute past eight, just doing the dishes, looking out the window. A bit of a it looks a bit of a foggy kind of morning. So we're just gonna go outside. We're gonna uh, let's just turn the lights off. Don't need them on, don't want to waste any electric. Let's just see. Can we get out? Is the door open? We unlocked it. There we go. Out we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a looks a bit of a cloudy rain is looks like it's on the way we've got some things to do today but first after the last episode i did a bit of homework i kind of brushed up and had a look around to see what was going on because we left it what i thought was some issues at the sawmill now if you're not seeing the last episode go and have a look but we got some issues at the sawmill i couldn't seem to get things to work and i must admit i went through everything just to try i tried so many different things and it turns out sawmill's not broken at all i'm an idiot that's exactly what it is i'm an idiot you might remember me saying as well about the um wood chips just wouldn't seem to go past 15 liters it just kept going back to zero i thought it, it's broken no 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 it's not broken there's an actual wood chip storage would you believe it it's actually got a wood chip storage so it hits 15 liters it spews them out into a storage every 15 liters it spews them out didn't know that now do feel a bit of an idiot this thing is also like a, a log chipper it's it's mighty high i don't know why it's so high but it's mighty high so if you can get your logs in there anything under like a meter just throw them in here and this makes more wood chips if that makes sense so instead of the normal like little bits you get as a excess from this anything like a meter log or under throw it in there you'll actually get more wood chips so it's something to bear in mind anything as well under 1.5 meters that goes in the pond naturally gets wood chipped it won't go for wood processing so that's something to bear in mind as well you see i am learning but i did say to you in the last episodes I'm, I'm learning as we go now there's a few things i have done i have bought myself a bit of a jeep uh just to um get things around the place i have bought a tally handler because i wanted to well move pallets uh yep yeah, there's a trailer you can see right there this this is where the wood chips come along so they get processed here in the sawmill they all work their way along here and um, yeah it, it spews out here every 15 liters and you get it here so that's where your wood chips go. So if you're wondering, thinking, what the, what's going on with the wood chips? Where do I get them from? Here. Yes. Let's back up a bit. This. Just the back of the sawmill. And there's no way that I can see. Now, I've tried putting a trailer under the spout. It won't work. It still mounds up on the floor. It's obviously not an actual... It's obviously not spewing them out of here. It's, it's just an animation. It's obviously just appearing on the floor. They're just sort of like generating on the floor, if that makes sense. It's not actually coming out of the spout. So if you think, oh, well, I'll just stick a trailer under there. Let it go in there. No, trust me. Tried it. Doesn't do anything at all. Still just, you know, you could be under anything. You can see it going in and it still just mounds up on the floor. So I don't think it's actually coming out of there. It's just an animation. So you would need to get like a tally handler to scoop them up and then put them in a trailer, which you can see by the tire marks is what I've been doing. I got one of these, which is the flatbed that we've used before, the auto loading trailer, but you can actually put sides on and a little cover and I, I can't get in there to show you but you can look you can just see if you're looking you, <laughs> you can just oh here we go you see i've already been putting wood chips in now how heavy this is going to be i don't know because they're not like my sort of normal dodgy trailers that i take the weight out of so who knows if this is going to actually work on the jeep or not let's just quickly go over here then because i don't want to make this into a whole me just rabbling through we've done enough of that bought this as well off camera because it works well with them trailers and well why not it sounds lovely lights just everywhere beastie thing got a bubble on the top with lights on tally handler love the new holland one because it's not some of them pivot in the middle and i can't get to grips with that it just mashes me head up so i've gone for one of these it's got the all wheel all wheel steer easy for me to say and about two and a half thousand liter bucket so that's pretty good now let's get down to the nitty gritties oh oh we have pallets so it seems like that 
pallet extended mod if you've got that on until the developer does an update it seems like it's conflicting with this sawmill so if you've got that maybe just go and disable it for this one game and what it was doing is if you go in here you'll see now i've got nothing apart from spawn and obviously you can change them over to uh, selling distributing or spawn so there's no more store in it you can't store them it's basically gone back to the game's default it would just spawn them out naturally i disabled the mod hey ho they spawned now i also noticed when these appeared here i saw the figures so i tried it i thought okay well these are here how many can it stack up because it looks like it can only do one i'm like well, well okay have i got to try and keep on top what happens so fast forward time i spawned it well it, it went to a thousand liters and then suddenly it went back to zero and nothing appeared i'm like oh oh maybe there is a glitch then maybe there is something wrong with it because i've lost that thousand liters it's it's spawned but it's not here well i thought okay maybe is it just in there as soon as i move this one will it suddenly pop up you know like we've had with some of the greenhouses do as soon as you move the pallets they suddenly spring up and another one appears no no that didn't happen either hmm okay we, we've got a bit of an issue here no 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 issue again me being an idiot didn't realize this sawmill has a wood storing yard who would have thought it never seen one in any of the farm sims that i can think of but it has a wood storing yard yeah you see this across here over here oh look an absolute load of pallets so every time i was trying to get things to spawn and it was like oh it just dropped to zero well this is why under this little shelter this is your wood storing yard so if you've done the same as me and had a bit of a moment thinking this is broke what's going on no apologize to giants if they happen to see this video i doubt it but if they do for me thinking that your sawmill was broken i apologize it wasn't broken i was an idiot i didn't know about this sawmill it's proper detail then the amount of different bits you've got on here now i'm aware of it i like it this is proper spot on so everything's sort of you know if you can't fit there you get one there and then the, the rest of them spawn across here so obviously you've got a lot of storage here for all this here is it like another section here you've got these these are the little planks if you hover over and you see planks so i'm guessing they're going to fill out up to here these are the uh, the beams see wood beams they'll all fill out in this section here these long planks will all fill out in here and you're probably thinking what the hell is this this is the prefab walls now i think some of them or very little got used on the roller coaster but checking the actual figures on them they're going for like 10 grand it's like oh I'm, I'm making them even if we just got to sell them so yeah it's it's good to know that things are working well so if you were like me i hope this has kind of helped you a little bit now you can get containers and you can load them onto the train here and it will sell and you can do all auto loading logs and all that kind of stuff we'll give that a go at some point but for now we're just going to try and do some of this and get the ball rolling so i've got this auto loading trailer which loads the pallets in as you can see now i didn't want to try it because i didn't know what was going to happen and i didn't realize they appeared there until well later on i've loaded these myself because i don't think the auto loading is capable of doing these big pallets and these because we did try in elm creek one of the episodes we did try and actually load these and it wouldn't have any of it now i'm assuming the curtain side and these trailers the auto load is going to be the same so if it wouldn't work for that i can't see it's going to work for this so this is why i've got the telehandler and the forks are there and we can just try and load them on manually but again i don't know what's going to be overweight and not overweight on this kind of trailer so we're going to have to have a play about and just see what happens and the prefab walls are going to be interesting to load these things because they are normal pallets yeah they, they should auto load perfectly fine so we're not going to put any more logs in just yet i think what i'm going to do is i need to start time so i'm going to put it on times two. Oh, there you go bit of bit of lights just come back we're going to go over to back on the map we're going to go over to the uh, iron ore place let's go put this in and we'll, we'll dump it in here 
and we'll get the ball rolling on this so we can actually get this started i don't know how long this is going to take is it a quick process is it not also i did want to get one of them trailers you just seen what i was doing for the wood chips because this thing's great don't get don't get me wrong for the old classic machines like this these are proper nice and it's free as well but i don't know what this this factory holds something tells me it's going to be a little bit more than the uh 5400 we've got in here so let's put it in let's see what it does oh it actually go oh it goes up look at that the animation goes up that's awesome so if we go back in here and have a look on here we'll be able to see and we should be able to start this now oh yes it takes 60,000 they're going to spawn out like everything else has been doing because that's the way it's got to go 60,000 um yeah, we could be here for quite a while because this thing, as we've just seen, doesn't hold much. Let's stop that there. This thing, as well, only picks up a thousand liters, so that's going to be a lot of back and forth. What I was thinking of is to get a tel uh, one of them tally handles across here with the two and a half thousand liter bucket. That should make it a bit quicker and maybe get that red trailer, get another one of them here so we can just sort of load that up. Because then, once that's loaded up, we can just keep feeding that in there. So, that's me thinking. But we could use the wood chip trailer as well. I wonder if it's better across here than at the wood chips. Hmm, it's possible. So, I think what we're going to do then is we're going to take some of these across. So, time's running. The iron ore place is going to be making some metal. We don't need too much metal for the boatyard. But then that's only for one process. So I think it was about 1,800 litres of metal we need. But that's just to do step one. Then it goes into step two, which is all the fabric and the mast and stuff. I don't think any more metal is needed for that. But the main thing is we need wood. It seems to be around about 9,000 litres that we need. So let's just see if we can go and get some more. Now, you've got to bear with me here. I'm, I'm not massively skilled at these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it inside or not. Uh, are they oh, the forks are open? Or tines, if you want to properly call them. We'll drop it on the floor. Let's just see if we can... Can anybody else see what we're doing here? Oh, it's pushing it. No, we're going to have to have a look outside. Oh. I know this is probably not the way to do it. Oh, it's, it's not... That's why. It's not even... There's a lot of traffic coming through it. Let's just see if we can grab these. Hey, you see, Sorry, the concentration can't talk and I'm a bloke can't talk, oh, can't talk and multitask can we get that without hitting it probably not let's see, can we, do you think we can stack him or is that really asking too much that might be asking too much that might mind it, we'll, we'll see if uh, see what happens and the good thing is, is obviously with having uh, this we can obviously stretch out don't want to stretch out too much though now I could just grab them by hand, but I want to I want to try and do it properly. I'm, I'm sure everybody would appreciate to do it properly. Oh no, that's that's back up a bit. The thing is, we can strap them on. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Nope. Oh no, Ooh, catching that other one. Down a bit. Down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Don't rag that one off. There we go. Whew, okay. So this, like I said, this this kind of map is what this is about. So these are not kind of things that I'm wanting to sort of time lapse. I'm trying my best not to skip too many of them. Um, if there was a lot to do, then a full load, then I might do a couple and then sort of do the rest off camera. It's just, I just don't want it to be too painful for you to watch. what I mean by when I say too painful I'll back up a bit here now right let's see if we can uh, try and grab another one of these I think if we take four down on the front I wonder if it will actually start or have we got to have it says 9,000 litres but does that mean we've got to have 9,000 litres in before it will start or is it up to 9,000 litres to actually complete that process 
I think that's what it is. So hopefully this will get it started. Like I said, I'm just worried about overloading. Let's uh, just zoom in a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, pick her up. Level it out a little bit. Now, anybody who drives forklift trucks or drives these, this is this is your job. What are the kind of physics like in farm sim compared to like real life? Is that? Yeah, it's a little, a little bit off actually, isn't it? Let's just see if we can try and scoot over a bit. Are the physics not bad, or is this actually a lot more tricky than it, it is in real life? Just because of farm sim physics. Do comment below, let me know. I'd, uh, I'd love to find out. Am I am I doing good? Will I get a job? <laughs> no, no. Probably not. Alright, let's see if we just strap these on. Okay. So that's 4,000 litres of them. Let's just see. I don't think we're going to fit another one on there. No, okay. Well, look, I'm going to just put a couple more of these beams are they are these the beams yeah wood beams i'm going to put a couple more of these on off camera i think two of them is painfully enough for you to watch put a couple more on we'll see how the weight goes and i will uh, head down to the boatyard i don't think it looks too bad I stuck a couple of these on here now i will admit i put them on with the forks but just slightly tidying them up with the super strength because uh, i kind of knocked them a little bit over here uh, and sort of pushed it back a little bit when I kind of moved the tally handler. But um, yeah, I got them on. I struggled with this though, because you can see it's not flat. So you've got like the, the mud flaps on here that are causing a bit of an issue when you try and drop the forks down. It's like, yeah, I found that was a bit tricky. But yeah, I managed to get them on with the tally handler. These weren't too bad. Uh, and then just like I said, just tidied them up with uh, super strength. Now let's just go and throw some straps over this bad boy. There we go. It doesn't seem... Now, whether it's just the lock, but it seems to be doing okay. For farm sim, it seems all right. So we'll see how she handles down the road. So we're going to go take these over to the boatyard. And we're going to sort of get things rolling on that. We could... We'll, still, well, actually, we'll just see how much it takes. I don't know how much it's, it's going to take. Plus, we need to see how she's going to handle. Um, oh, I shouldn't really be going across the tracks like this, but hey, it'll be okay. Now, we're all strapped, so we should be okay. It, it seems to be performing quite well. Oh, let's get on the right side of the road. Very good, boy. So, it, it's not moving anywhere. It all seems pretty good, so that'll do me. So, all we've got to do then is take this straight down to the end of the road. Swing a right. This truck will go 114. I'm um, not sure if I really want to, but I'll be honest, we're at 60. It seems quite stable. It seems very planted. It's not snaking all over the place. It doesn't feel like it's got an issue on steering. We're doing 80. We, we shouldn't be doing 80. I'll ease off a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed. I like this little setup. There's the flooring factory that we've got to get out at some point. Let's go outside so we can have a look. Yeah, it's, nothing's moved. It all seems to be doing all right. Car's going to pull out, isn't it? Yeah. So there's the roller coaster. We can go to the end here and swing a right. You know what? I don't think that is actually overloaded. I really am curious about how much this would take. Let's see. If we can just. Oh, I was going to try and go past the car, then I haven't got enough power. I will try, actually, once this has been emptied, to see if we can auto-load. I don't know what we can and can't do with the auto-load, but we'll give it a try. We'll go back up and try. Let's just move somewhere here. I'm guessing the trigger is... There we go. Wood's starting to disappear. Yeah. Beautiful. Not inside. Unstrap. Let's just turn it off a second. Let's just see what's going on here. So in here now so we can see looking at the little uh, 
info display at the bottom. Wood beams, planks, and plank long. You can see they're going down. So it looks like the material at the bottom, the bottom figures, are what is needed to complete it. So planks, we need 8,997. We've got 1,996 in. So that's not bad. So we only need 1,008 of metal and 7,200 litres of floor tiles. That's not bad. Well, let's just go and see then if we can... Uh, if we can load up any more wood. So we're back at the sawmill then. I'm going to just drive past here. I'm going to turn on the auto load. And you can see at the top left corner, the icon's gone blue to tell me that the trailer is ready. You can see disable auto load, enable it so it goes blue. We're going to drive past and see. Now I know the little pallets at the end, the planks, they will pick up. But it's these I want to see. If this jumps on... No. Uh, I'm about to hit it as well because I keep forgetting about the, the wheel arches. They don't. I didn't think they did. So we are still going to have to do it the tally handle way with maybe a little bit of tidying up with super strength. Which, yeah, you know, I'm fine with that. We do need to take some bits across to the flooring. Now, I completely forgot we actually bought this in the last episode. I might have just said that... Uh, we need to get it but we have actually got it we just need to take some stuff across there okay so we're loaded up then with 3,000 liters of the long planks and then the normal planks now i wanted just to test so i did quickly load these up with uh, super strength and not the tally handler that's why they look quite neat uh, but these did auto load so i switched it on and i grabbed them and just sort of stood near the trailer and it just suddenly boom took them out of my hands and as you can see they're perfectly done so at least we know we can do the planks auto loaded. It's just these and everything else that we need to do with tally handler or super strength. So that's good to know. Uh, Prefab walls. I'm I'm worried about that with tally handler. <laughs> we'll give it a go. So we do need to get some more wood to get things running. Now we know that the sawmill is not broken and everything was storing here. I was just an idiot. But we will go and take these across. And I will see you at the flooring place. And we'll get that started. So we're just pulling up to the floor in place now. Uh, I can't remember where this goes. I think it was round this side. I remember right, or was it round the back? Let's just go around here and see. Does it start disappearing? Yep, it was here then. We'll put these in. Beautiful. Switch off because that thing's expensive to run. Let's just jump back in here and see. So they are started. It's going to do ten thousand liters. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take there's no rush so at the minute then i'm just climbing a steep bank with about 84 percent of wood chips in uh, because there's a rural farm up here that takes wood chips and it's doing about 500 pound a liter so i thought well why not so i just sort of while i was there and it got some wood chips in already i thought i'm just going to fill it up with what i can on the floor and it was actually 29,134 liters which is quite impressive actually I mean, wood chips, I suppose, it's more bulk into it. It doesn't look much. It didn't look much on the floor. But this is what it is. Now, it's quite a bit in there. because It's all at the back. And I don't think that's actually helping the truck, if I'm honest. Because um, it was quite sketchy getting here. It didn't... Well, it was okay. But it's a bit... You've just got to be a bit careful. A bit lively on the old... Uh, the truck's on the old back end a bit. But we might be overloading this. Now, I'm just wondering... The iron ore is going to be heavier. So I'm a little bit worried there. But let's just get some money from this then. While we might as well, it was, it was in there. Or partly filled anyway. Then we'll take this up to the iron ore place and we'll, we'll have a look and see. Really, it's not going to be too much of an issue because we've only got to go from the iron ore across. It's not like we're going to try and travel half the map like I've just done with this. But that was all right. That was. Let's just go on the prices and see so we can get rid of the... Oh, 507 price is actually still going up now we just need to have a look and see from here we're down here at the minute if we follow this dirt track up here and then carry on across this dirt track no we'll turn out onto the road onto that other dirt track and then we'll bring us right up at the top so we'll head up there getting a bit pushed for time on this video so I, i've kind of 
I want to sort of show you through some of these the, these dirt tracks. I wonder if we go inside, but that would look better. Hey, you, see, you can actually see more from outside, so let's just drive through. We'll open the lid. It is a great map, this is. Train tracks everywhere, so we need to go and go on this one up here. So we go past this one here. This will take us up. I'm just thinking if we went on the other one, we've got to try and go past that road that I kind of might have destroyed a little bit. I also love that mod as well. The no camera collision mod. Otherwise, that would have kind of threw me all over the place there. But it just goes through it like it's not even there. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, no, we do come up. Oh, this is this one. I thought on the map, if we stay away from that one... Of course, it's over there. I was just thinking, if we stay away from that one, we'll stay away from that big cliff. I thought, oh, we'll go on that one then. No, nope, that's the one with the big cliff on. It's not an issue. So it looks like it's beautiful wet weather. So let's just give this a quick go then. Be a good way and see. Oh, actually, let's just turn that off. We'll save some petrol. Have we? Oh, oh, I see. Our first pallet of metal. Look at that. Awesome. Now, again, they should load. They should also load because it's normal pallets. I'm just thinking it's it, it probably going to be a little bit easier. Now, when we do get a tally handle up here, we could use that and we could sort of load them up. But let's just jump into this thing. Let's have a go. It's... um. It's slow. And it does up if I can actually control it properly. There we go. That's full already. It doesn't have much of a bucket, this. 1,000 litres. This thing... I'm guessing it's about 35,000, this, because... Well, you just saw the wood chips then. That was 29, and it was 84%. So I'm guessing 35, maybe 40,000. Now, that was something I wanted to know. It was just a little test, really, to see if this trailer would actually accept iron ore, and it does. Well, it's good to know, actually. I didn't know. It. That was my worry. It was I was going to bring it up here, and it wouldn't actually accept iron ore. But luckily, it does. So I really do think a tally handler up here would be better. Two and a half thousand litre bucket on it. Now, we could get a bucket which is like holds 100,000 litres and do it that way but I, I just think on this map it just feels wrong I want to try and do things as genuine as possible but a thousand litres yeah I do think this could this could be a little bit too too a little bit too genuine let's just try uh, one more scoop it's a shame that the um, oh, wrong way it's a shame that the 2,000 litre bucket I think it was two or two and a half thousand litre bucket that this thing has. It just doesn't like it. It's just so heavy on the front. You sort of think, well, why give me the option then if, if you can't, if it won't work? Or at least let me put a weight on the back, you know, sort of counterbalance it, but no. So let's just leave this here. I mean, this is, this is great for like a, a free product. And a lot of the things we can do on this map We've not really got to worry about the weather. It's not really going to affect us. Now, I know that this is literally only 3,000 litres, just over. I just want to make sure that it will all tip okay. And that it will go in okay and there's, there's no issues. Some trailers do have issues with tipping. Like, you know, tipping the products and stuff. Just make sure it will go okay. Yeah, it will go okay. That's good. So at least we know that this will work. No problem at all. Work a treat. Oh, nearly took my fence out then. So that's good to know. So I do think now we just need to see if we can get some pennies. Oh, is that actual rain that's settling on top of the cover? That looks pretty cool, actually. So we'll leave this here. We'll see if we can get a tally handler, but I, I do think actually just go into the shop and have a quick look. But I do think they're a little bit out of price range. If we go for the new Holland again, like we've got 109,000. 
The bucket, I don't think it's going to be much at all. Let's just see the bucket. 2,640 litres. Yeah, so... It's a little bit out of price range at the minute, but we could lease it. But I don't really want to lease it if I can, so... I think we'll just maybe put up with this for a little bit. Or do we just bring the tally handle across from the wood place? Oh, it's a tough one. I'm going to have to think about that one and we'll see. We could just share it across here, really. And just move it back and forth whenever we need to. That's probably the sensible option and the cheaper option. So we will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Then don't forget to hit subscribe and turn the little bell on to get notified every time I upload another video of Silver Run Forest. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.